Indian National Security Advisor Ajit Doval met with representatives of Northeast Tamil political parties yesterday afternoon. M.S. Sumandiran and S. Sri Dharan of the Ilenge Tamil Arusukachi, Selvam Adekaranadhan of the Tamil Elam Liberation Organization, Dharmalingam Siddharthan of the People's Liberation Organization of Tamil Elam, and Selvaraja Kajendran of the Tamil National People's Front attended the meeting. Some participants in this discussion explained the decision to field a common Tamil candidate. We expressed our opinion that we should support a candidate who agrees with us by extending support to a main candidate and negotiating with him. He did not say anything directly, but he indicated that even if the Tamil people had 8% of the votes, it could still impact the decisive contest between the main candidates. He said that it could become a vote that decides the winning candidate. Therefore, he emphasized the need for everyone to agree and reach a consensus. Subsequently, we were told that we could achieve significant success if we acted as a unified group and avoided splitting votes strategically. MP Selva Raja Kajendran had this to say on the meeting during a media briefing in Jaffna. He told us that we should use our votes strategically. We told him that if a candidate proposes a constitutional amendment under a federal system, we would consider it. India has a vested interest in bringing a preferred candidate to power, driven by the need to manage in relations with China. India is seeking to support a candidate who aligns with its interests. Meanwhile, a meeting between Indian National Security Advisor Ajit Doval and President Ranil Vikramasinghe took place this morning at the President's office. According to the President's media division, the discussions focused on the ongoing economic collaboration between the two countries. India's National Security Advisor Ajit Doval met with the presidential candidate of the National People's Power, Anura Kumara Disanayaka, this morning. MP Vijita Herath also participated in this meeting. Details of the discussion were not disclosed. Ajit Doval also met with the presidential candidate of the Samagijana Balavagya, Sajit Premadasa. They engaged in a lengthy discussion for almost one and a half hours regarding strengthening ties between the two countries. Meanwhile, Indian National Security Advisor Sajid Doval met with a group of MPs from the Tamil Progressive Alliance led by MP Mano Ganesan. At his invitation, we participated in the discussion today. We spoke about how India supported us with $4 billion during Sri Lanka's economic distress. He said that India is ready to collaborate even if they come to power and emphasize the national security and good governance of the two countries are intertwined. Additionally, the Memorandum of Understanding for the Establishment of a Secretariat for Member Countries of the Colombo Security Conclave including Sri Lanka, India, Bangladesh, Maldives and Mauritius was signed in Colombo today. The signing took place at the President's office this afternoon. Our collective commitment to the five fundamental pillars and the objectives of the Colombo Security Conclave will be crucial in shaping a future where peace, stability and prosperity are not just aspirations but tangible realities. In a world characterized by rapid change and evolving threats, our efforts should focus on further strengthening regional partnerships, sharing intelligence and developing collaborative strategies. It is imperative that we address traditional security concerns while also confronting emerging threats that transcend borders, including cybersecurity, transnational crime, and maritime security. It's, it's a good start for us, uh, in, in, or a, a good next lap for us, and let's make the most of this.